A Canadian company is releasing a new genetically modified apple that won't turn brown for up to three weeks. Check out this time-lapse video. The normal apple is on the left, and the modified apple, when we see this, is on the right. And the modified apple for three weeks wow. just does not change. Not change at all. Yeah, so I, in, what is the science like behind this? And, and yeah, what is the science? It's How does this happen? This is crazy as I researched it, because as a mom, I hand the sliced apples to my kids. Tommy bring in the brown apples. I give them to them and they give me the yuck, mommy, yeah, face if it's brown like that. But here's That's not the too science. Bad. I'd still eat that. It's not bad. So here's what happens. You cut an apple. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't eat that, George? I mean, if I had to. Come on, man. Yeah, see, he's eat, well, it, there is science here. There's an enzyme in the apple that when it's cut, it mixes with oxygen. There's iron in the apple and it oxidizes. It basically rusts the apple. So the company that's genetically modified the Arctic apple has just spliced out that enzyme. Voila, apples that don't rust are brown. And are people buying it? Well, whenever you say GMO and food, there's controversy. People don't want their Gravenstein apple turning into a Frankenstein apple. So, <laughs> so you know, let's start with the Organic Consumers Association. They're saying that these apples, the Arctic apples, have not been independently tested. And once again, consumers are the guinea pigs for GMO foods. Then the Okanagan Fruit Company, specialty fruit company that developed this, say they've researched it for 11 years and it passed the FDA approval and in Canada. Uh, you know, the, the issue here, we have seen the flavor saver tomato. You remember that back in 94? Mm -hmm. That was GMO modified. But the issue is with GMO, if you hand a GMO apple a day to your kid, does it keep the doctor away? GMO kids. Oh, Sorry, God. no oh, offense, God. Dr. B. What, what do you think about genetically modified food? Doc? Well, I think from a health and safety standpoint, there's, there's not an issue there. I, people hear the word GMO and, 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 and they freak out. When you look at that scientifically, when you look at it molecularly, it's still the same apple, just minus that one enzyme. As a consumer, I, w I like my apple to turn brown as a sign to me that it's not quite as fresh. I don't want to bite into an apple and it's mushy, and that's the first sign yeah, that that worse. apple is yeah, no, right, no yeah. good. I can tell if it's really brown, it's like, I'm gonna go for another apple. Well, fast food companies are the ones that they're really targeting these apples at, and Wendy's said, uh, too much controversy, we're not gonna do the Arctic apple, but uh, you see the business case. Uh, an apple a day, there you go. Yeah, I don't wanna keep Dr. B away. <laughs> Thank you so much.